Hi, this is Emily from emilywolf.net and today I thought I would share with you a video of how I edit photos using a color story which is a new app out by the girls from a beautiful mess.com um, so basically what I'm doing is I want to edit um, a few photos of my daughter to use in a scrapbook layout and so I want the images to all be similar in color. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to edit them or edit one photo and then how I copy those exact settings over into a to the rest of the images using the color story app. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open up the first photo. So I'm going to hit this photos um, where it says photos at the bottom. I don't want to hit recent. I want to hit um, photos and then I can choose which one I want. If you hit recent, it just opens up the most recent image. So um, I'm going to go to my favorites on my iPhone and pick this first image of my daughter. So basically what I want to do here is um, just kind of play around with it and get it how I want it to look before I apply a preset. So I'm going to hit continue and you have these choices at the bottom. If you go into filters, I have purchased all of the filters for a color story. So these are, um, I think it was $7.99 when it first came out. I, I purchased everything um, and you can purchase um, different um, sets as you would like. Um, so you can scroll through and there's all these different types and then when you click on one um, inside then there's all of these different choices and then um, if you there have effects that you can apply if you click on this little tool little wrench um, you ha you can click adjust or crop and frame so if I want to hit adjust I can um, adjust the curves clarity contrast brightness saturation temperature tint um, exposure, sharpen, blur, etc. So I'm going to go back out first. Um, then there's um, different, um, if you save some steps when you're editing, you can use those. Like basically, you can make your own presets, which I'm going to show you later. And then here's their store if you want to purchase the different um, presets, I guess is what I would call them. So I'm going to click back here on this first um, color, this magenta, and I'm just going to kind of play around with the um, different filters. I don't really have a favorite or anything. I just kind of play around until I find one that I like. So uh, let's just click on Boho. So you can go through the presets and see which one you like. Um, and if you like one, you can hit the check mark and then go back in um, and pick another one. Um, the only thing I wish that this app had was the ability to, like if you click and hold, you could see the image before and after. Instead, you kind of have to slide. Um, you can do that, like if I applied this preset, which I kind of like, so let's kind of adjust it and let's apply this one. Okay, so I applied that. Now I can press and hold and see before and after. But I wish you could do that while, while you're actually applying the presets. That would be helpful. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go back and just see if there's any other ones. Let's. I like this everyday one sometimes. It just gives it a little more oomph, I guess you could say. So... I'll add a little bit at the check mark um, before and after, which I think is pretty cute as far as um, the editing goes for her. But I would really like the sky to stand out more, um, and I, so I think I'm gonna go play with some of their um, other features besides the filters. So let's go into the effects. And I'm going to just kind of play around with the color fog. I'm cur curious about it. I haven't really got to play with it too much. Um, so let's just kind of see. Uh, I don't really like how it turns her blue. 
<laughs> yeah, it's definitely cool, but it comes down too far. I wish you could. Oh, you can move it up. Isn't that awesome? So, oops. Let's, what I'm doing is clicking on the fog and dragging it up to where I would like it. So let's stick it right there. And then I'm going to turn it down. This is all the way gone. Let's turn it back up a little bit. That's pretty. I'll maybe turn it down a little bit. There you go. Okay. And then another thing that I like to do is go back at the end and go to my um, tools. Well, let me just the tools down here at the bottom and then I hit adjust. I like to play with the curves. So if, if you click on the curves, if you, um, you can bump up your contrast, like this is your curves. Like I, you know, we don't want to do this. We don't want to do this, but you can add subtle little changes, which I'm not going to do that on this one. Um, I'm going to add another, um, dot I don't really know what you call those and then drag this up it adds a haze as you can see but if you just do a little bit it looks really cool it's like got that like fade effect that's really neat so there's my before and there's the after and I just think that's fun um, there's maybe a little bit of darkness on her face let's see if we can bump that up at all. Um, let's try the exposure. I think that's a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. So this is, I think this image looks neat how it is. Um, so now I'm going to save it. But when I'm so I'm going to hit done up here in the top right hand corner and then you hit save and finish. So I'm going to hit save and finish and then you can see this green bar. It says save editing steps. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to call it. Well, okay. So at the bottom it says save your current steps as a custom filter and then I'm going to hit save. It shows you like everything that you did. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to name my new filter. Let's just say um, Gracie driveway. Okay. So now I'm going to hit start again at the bottom. And I'm going to hit photos again, that black circle. And go back in to the next photo. So I've already done this first one, so now I'm going to do the second one. And I want to apply the same presets. I want the image to look exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is come down here to this fourth um, column that says saved. I'm going to click on that. And then here in the first one, it says my saved. I'm going to click that. And these are all of the different um, filters I've created. So I'm going to hit Gracie driveway. And then it automatically applies everything I did to the last image. So I can um, hit this check mark. And now before, after. And I didn't have to do all those steps again. I just was able to reapply the um, same exact preset I had already made. So I'm going to hit done, save and finish, and then start again. And I'm going to go to photos and favorites. I'm going to add, get the third photo and I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm going to add that same preset all over again. So the fourth column saved, my saved, Gracie driveway looks good check mark done save and finish and then start again photos favorites let's do the last one um, continue the fourth column saved my saved Gracie driveway and there you have it I'm gonna check mark done save and finish now if I go into my photos and go back to my main 
photos, then here I have all four images saved in my camera roll and they are ready to be scrapbooked. So just kind of got to decide if I want to use all the photos or which ones I want to use, how I want to do that. So that's how I use the color story app to edit my photos and how I save my own presets and apply them to my other photos using the color story app. If you liked this video, um, hit subscribe at the bottom and check me out at uh, emilywolf.net and I'll provide some links in the comments to all of the information you could find in this video. All right. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.